Hey everyone, are you struggling on growing your YouTube channel from nothing? I've been able to grow my channel to over 300 subscribers and over 9,000 views in a year organically. Stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to share with you my experience and from Video Influencers Top 7 Tips. Hey everyone, my name is Ben with EXP Realty with Aguilar Realty Group. I'm so excited to share you this video. So many people have been asking me to do this type of video. So get a pen and paper. Let's start. Number one, start before you're ready. I know there are a lot of people out there that have this fear of videotaping themselves, looking at themselves, almost like looking at yourself in the mirror. Uh, it is scary, but you got to start before you're ready. You just got to just do it like the Nike slogan. Don't wait anymore. Just get your phone, get a stand, phone stand and put it on and start doing one. Upload your own video to get subscribers. I know it sounds wild, but that's how you get views. That's how you get subscribers. Upload your video and start asking people to subscribe to your video. Well, you're going to also in this journey, you, as you see my own journey, you're going to learn what it takes to do videoing and to do YouTube. And so number two, you're going to share your channel. How are you going to promote yourself and brand yourself if you don't share it out there? Um, you're going to tell your friends, you're going to tell your family. This is my best advice right here is on Facebook. I know a lot of you are part of groups. When you go on Facebook, after you upload your video, make sure you share it to every single group. It doesn't matter unless it has nothing to do with what you're talking about. You don't want to share it. But if it has to do a group and it has to do with anything you're sharing, the content, if they're going to benefit from it, make sure you share on every group. I even go to my broker's page and every group I'm part of, I share that too. When I'm out and about, guess what? On my digital business card, I put my YouTube channel on there as well. And every time I'm out on my social media, People don't know that you, they just don't know you have a YouTube channel. So make sure you share about that, about your YouTube channel to your friends and family. Like I said in the beginning, um, and number three, you want to focus on a niche, um, help when you focus on a niche, it helps you target an audience. Let me give you a quote. If you're trying to reach everybody, reality is you're going to reach nobody. It's better to have a niche, know exactly what you want to accomplish, what audience is part of that accomplishment. That's why, that's why targeting is very, very important. You're going to ask these questions. Make sure you write these questions down, guys. Why would people be interested in this content? Why would people be interested in this content? Because the reality is people go on YouTube, not just to blankly just go in there and watch video. They have an interest. They want feedback about a certain product. They want information. They want um, encouragement. So is what you're giving them valuable on your video? Make sure you know what people would be interested in your contact. Also, what value would it be to have a specific audience? The value of having a specific audience is to create followers, to create fans. It's crazy because my YouTube channel, as you guys mostly watch, is about my journey. It's a mix of real estate. It's a little mix of everything to encourage you. Um, as an entrepreneur mainly. And I know that when you make videos, 
the value of having a specific audience is almost to create this fanfare and that fanfare will support your journey, support your brand. And also, what is your value proposition to your audience? What are you bringing to your audience? And I'm hoping every single one of you that watch my video is getting value from my videos. And I know that is, and I thank you for every single person watching this video and subscribe to it because it shows that you are offering a value to your audience. Now, let me give you an example. If you have a cooking channel, you want to have valuable cooking tutorials, right? If you're in, uh, if you're a gym coach, make sure you have some great gym exercise, working exercise tutorials to help your client. And for me, as a real estate agent, I'm constantly trying to give you guys great buyers, sellers tutorials, which I'll put up here. And it's a whole playlist for buyers and sellers to know how to be the best in this market today in my county. All right, number four, engage. Engage with your audience. It's not just about video uploading, guys. It's not about just uploading tons of video. Uh, make sure you're vibing with other people as well. Go into their channel. And if it's the same niche, even better. Because if you go into their channel, you have that knowledge of in that niche, you're commenting on theirs, they're coming to your channel, they're like, who's this that comment on my channel? Let's go into it. That's actually how I found some of these amazing real estate YouTubers like Jaime Resendez, like, you know, and um, Loida Vasquez, and so uh, Hector Aguilar. So make sure you also engage in their YouTube channels, comment, like, share, you know, it's it's a hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, it used to be in the YouTube community back, uh, com uh, community back then, sorry, that everyone was used to support each other, like each other, share each other's YouTube, things like that. And, and if you're not part of a YouTube group that does that, I would recommend joining one as well. It's not you going into their channel and say, hey, you know, subscribe and I'll subscribe yours. You know, it's it doesn't work like that in YouTube world land, okay? And again, I'm gonna repeat it again because it's super important. Add valuable content on other people's niche videos as well. So, and then number five, number five, focus on the YouTube fundamentals. Get, so there's a good quote by Michael Jordan. It says, get the fundamentals down and the level of everything you do will rise. Get the fundamentals down and the level of everything you do will rise. That's a really cool quote. Ask yourself, are you doing the basic things? What are the basic things? Are you focused on a good title? Because... When having a good title, people are able to search your channel easier. If you don't have a good title, people are not gonna find your video at the end of the day. So as you see in my uh, title, I mean, I know it's good because I see it from video influencers and they got tons of followers. So that's what you do sometimes. You rip and repeat, rinse and repeat. And so this title that I have for this video I know it's a highlight video because a lot of people are asking this question and so I and so I, I was so I'm putting it as my title. Are you focused on a good thumbnail? Now, when I first started guys, I hired someone to do my thumbnails right away on Fiverr. But luckily now I have my wife doing my thumbnails and they're amazing, right? If you like the thumbnails let me know in the comment as well. Are you tagging your videos? This is important. I never knew how important tagging your videos are, but I would use, for me, I use TubeBuddy. It's a, a company that you can use for free and also pay their subscription. They help you with great tags. There's like hashtag whatever is trending 
in the market and high video tags, that's what you want to put in your tags. Often when people start, they discount on things like tagging. So make sure you, you're tagging. And number six, content is king, guys. Add value to someone's life, like I mentioned before. You want to ask questions like this one that I made on this video to people to give them an answer to. There's a lot of great videos out there. All they are is about asking questions and finding what questions that people want to find out and, and you provide that answer for them. Like I said, go back to that value aspect. Down to consistency. This is important. Down to consistency, strategic quality content. Consistency, strategic quality content, guys. And before you press record, do some research and some preparation. Spend time, guys, to type in the YouTube search bar and look for video ideas. Plan your video. You know, when I started doing videos, it was just off the limb, right? Because I just wanted to do it to get it done. Now, I watch videos on something that like today from Video Influencer and I made sure I can type it out so that I can deliver to you in a systematic, easy approach way so that you guys can digest it and you can rewatch it and you can share it again and you can give it to somebody else, hopefully, right? So my encouragement for you guys is consistency once a week, long term. That's what I've been doing and that's what I do today. Once a week, long term. And that's able for me to get over 330 subscribers and 9,000 views. It's awesome. Thank you for staying this long. It's been 12 minutes already. I'm going to give you the last one. And it is number seven. Create searchable videos. Create searchable videos. You want your video to show up in those top search results, right guys? There's something called ranking videos that helps channel grow. So, you know, if you have a, a long, super long title, um, people are not gonna find it. it they're not gonna find it, but if you're gonna have a title, like mine says, we, uh, fo follow my journey, you know, this is my journey, and then a title after it, that's a good one. Or something short and simple, um, something you know that people are gonna search. So that's why I recommend create searchable uh, titles, videos. Uh, just go on the YouTube uh, search bar on the top, type what you wanna learn or a question that you're trying to uh, find out, and it's gonna pop up. And you'll see how many uh, videos have been made on that question or that title that you're talking about. So that, I hope those seven tips has helped you tremendously. Really the challenge on getting people to watch and get viewers and subscribers is really not practicing the simple, you know, um, seven tips that I've told you guys about. And straight up, your video is just not interesting. I'm sorry to say. Um, and then the last thing is that you're not doing anything for some period of time. So make sure you don't do any of those things. I know you're going to do great. Hit me up in the comments section. Um, in the description, there's my contact information if you need any help. If you like this video and it helped you, please hit the like, the subscribe, and share this video. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you and y'all bless you.